In Japanese, her first name means love. 44-year-old ex-broadcast journalist Ai Aoki is standing for election in North Tokyo where she is trying to unseat a member of the country's powerful ruling coalition. She may be facing a tough challenge in her constituency, but the opposition Democratic Party of Japan, which she represents, is widely tipped to win Sunday's national election. Ayoki is part of the so-called Princess Corps, a group of young female candidates who have been carefully selected by the country's key opposition party to take on the oldest and most conservative ruling politicians. And now uh, we uh, have to appeal to the uh, male people, uh, especially uh, young male people, who don't connect it to the uh, uh, political situations. So uh, it's our uh, strategy. The strategy has worked before with politicians using so-called young assassins to help win the 2005 election. The question is now, will it work for the Princess Corps? If I like the female candidates, I'll vote for them. The Democratic Party of Japan has been keen to capitalize on any feminine charm it feels the campaign can bring. Gentlemen prefer blondes, that says it all. The first impression is important and it makes a big difference. The ruling Liberal Democrats have expressed anger over the strategy and maintain it is just a cheap trick. Many voters, however, seem to think it may help revitalize Japanese politics. There are fewer and fewer opportunities for the younger generation's opinions to be heard. So I'm in favor of the idea that a younger generation enters Japanese politics. Women of all ages have long been underrepresented in Japanese politics, but with a record 17% of women candidates standing in this election, things may be about to change.